Hello everyone, uh, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Reviving Destinies, here we revive destinies. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about three things. I'm going to speak about free will, then God's purpose, then Holy Spirit. That's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to explain, elaborate those things uh, in line with the scriptures. And I'm just trying my best so that my explanation is proper, straightforward, and easily comprehensible. So that's, that's what I'm going to talk about. So to do that, let me break this into uh, uh, three sets. Now let me focus on free will. Then after I focus on free will, I will touch God's purpose. Then after that touching God's purpose, then I will touch... Uh, the Holy Spirit part. Then I will touch Holy Spirit part because most of people they seems to be confused about those things. Then uh, I will try my best to link those three things uh, as I'm busy explaining. So, so that's that's how it is. Most of people when they make up decisions, some they will, uh, you will hear them saying, "I'm just waiting for Holy Spirit." to direct me to do this i cannot do this now i'm waiting for the holy spirit to lead me so that's uh, the type of answers i'm going to give in this video that's what i'm going to talk about so first of all is uh, now i have to understand that uh, my audiences are two different people are uh, people who are non-christians who don't believe in jesus christ and christians so those who are christians uh, I will try my best to understand that uh, 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 there will be a part where I will try to address everyone then from there after addressing everyone come back to Christians specifically that one will be specifically for Christians then there are those which will address for everyone so the first thing is the free will uh, out of three uh, remember I'm going to speak about free will God's purpose and Holy Spirit so when we speak about free will, we are speaking about we are speaking about a man's authority, man's desire, man's ability in a person, man's purpose or will in a person. So uh, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say your own purpose in your life, your own desire in your life, your own will. What? Uh, you want it to happen in your life that thing is call it a will and it's not a sin to have a will or authority or uh, the part you play every person into this life god gave them authority god gave them uh, the part of contribution which you have to make in your life so there are places where you are in life you are because of your own decision which you made so the decisions which you make previously are affected where you are now. But it's not always, it's not 100% the man's contribution which affect where you are. I hope I make myself clear. Let me give an example by me. Let's say uh, my own desire uh, is I want to be the president of the United States. That is my own desire. That's the free will which I'm talking about. It's what I want it to happen. So... Uh, uh, the decisions which I will take, like maybe going to a free state, going to United States, then after going to United States, joining politics there, uh, trying to chant the word very hard, do all those things. It is what we call the will, my own will in life. It's what we call free will in my own life. The, trust me, I can work very 100% hard. I can work Diligently, I can work very, very hard uh, to be that. I can take great decisions to be that, but I can still fail to be the president of the United States. So, into that case, that where it extends to God's will also, and, uh, as an audience of the uh, Christian. So, free will is the will of a person. So, this means in your life, whenever you want to do something in your life, Yes, the uh, Holy Spirit needs to lead you. Yes, uh, there is the God's purpose uh, which you have to prevail. But also, you have to act as your part. 
So also, uh, uh, th th this means in the life of a person, of a believer, you also have to make great decisions. You, that's the part of free will which I'm talking about. You also, you have to take the decisions, you have to do the part, you have to do your part. Then God can come up and direct the free will. So free will can fail because of many reasons. It can fail because you didn't work hard on your part, you didn't make the, you didn't uh, choose the right decisions. Or it can fail because it was contradicting with the God's will. This means uh, you want to be the president of United States, but God does not want me to be the president of United States. Uh, no matter how hard I work, I won't be the president of United States because it's against the God's will. So I hope I make myself clear into that case. That is even biblical what I said. So this means we have God's purpose and we have also free will. So God's purpose is uh, what God wants it to happen in your life. And if God's purpose want you to be the president of South Africa, then you, you want to be the president of the United States. It is the God's purpose which will prevail your own free will. Because God has power more than you have power in your life. God knows you more than the way you know yourself. So this means in your life, you have a power to make a decision. But at the same time, God has power in your life. So I hope I've explained God's purpose and I hope I've explained free will at the same time. God's purpose is what God wanted to happen, what God wanted to manifest in your life, what God wanted to happen in your life. But the free will depends on yourself. The Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs that many are the plans in a man's heart, but it's the God's purpose that prevails, that will prevail. So this means... Uh, you, uh, your desire, uh, you have to work very hard, but at the same time, when you fail, don't be discouraged when you work hard, when you work smart, when you took great decisions. Remember, it's just that the purpose of God manifested. The purpose of God uh, or the God's will didn't want that to happen. So that's, that's how it is actually. So now, uh, explaining God's purpose and free will. Let me touch Holy Spirit part now. Most of people, they seem to be confused when it comes to the case of Holy Spirit. Some, you will see them saying, I cannot enter into a relationship because, uh, because, uh, or I cannot pray, I cannot do that because God's purpose, because the Holy Spirit didn't lead me. So now I'm explaining that. So, Holy Spirit is our mediator. Holy Spirit is our advocate. Holy Spirit is our comforter. So, meaning that Holy Spirit is a middleman between man and God. So, meaning that Holy Spirit doesn't replace free will, doesn't replace your own purpose. The fact that you are the Christian, you are led by the Holy Spirit, it does not mean uh, free will, uh, ceased to uh, happen in your life. Free will must no longer take place in your life. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Trust me. So what I can say is free will is just that Holy Spirit will lead you when you do something which maybe you seem to be confused or when you do something which you are unable to do. Uh, you cannot be the mediator on yourself. You cannot pray to God and uh, demand God to answer your prayers uh, at the same time. You need the help of the Holy Spirit. That's where you will need Holy Spirit to advocate your prayers. I hope I've explained this clear. So uh, you, 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 are, you have the incentive to take decision in your life. It's just that... Uh, also, you have to wait for Holy Spirit. You have to wait for the purpose of God to as an approval. But also, you have to do your part. So, what am I trying to imply? So, Holy Spirit, will when you when when you are at your home and you say, "I want to pray," don't say, "I'm waiting for Holy Spirit to lead me to pray." Don't say, "I'm waiting for Holy Spirit to lead me to give to the poor." Don't say, "I'm waiting for Holy Spirit to lead me to fast." Don't say I'm waiting for Holy Spirit to tell me to leave alcohol. 
Don't say I'm waiting for Holy Spirit to tell, uh, to tell me to leave some addictions. Do your part, then Holy Spirit will advocate those things. Holy Spirit will advocate your prayer. Holy Spirit, uh, uh, stand up and pray, then Holy Spirit will advocate your prayer. Stand up and give to the poor, then Holy Spirit will advocate that. So you have to do your part. Then Holy Spirit or God's will will do the rest. So that's, that's how it is. So that's uh, what I just wanted to explain into that bit. So you have your own desire and we have Holy Spirit. So the last thing which I want to emphasize is Holy Spirit, which people profess it lead, also is always in line with the scriptures. That one is too strict. And you have to understand this actually. There is no way where Holy Spirit can lead you to do something which contradicts with the word of God. That one is, is, is a mark. Take a note and put it, uh, write it on your wall. The Holy Spirit cannot lead you to do something which contradicts the word of God. Holy Spirit cannot lead you to pray for people to die. Why? Because uh, it is not biblical to pray for people to die. I know people like to uh, misquote the scripture, but it's not biblical. Let's not start that argument. It's not biblical for you to steal. So Holy Spirit cannot lead you to go to, to steal. Holy Spirit cannot lead you to go to kill. Holy Spirit cannot lead you to go and commit fornication. Holy Spirit cannot lead you uh, to go to rape. Holy Spirit cannot lead you to go and fight. Those ones the Holy Spirit cannot lead you to do. And many more, many more which are sinful. So Holy Spirit cannot lead you to do all those things. So the moment you come up and say, Holy Spirit lead me to do this and this. Uh, Holy Spirit lead me to steal. You are a liar because Holy Spirit cannot lead you to contradict with the word of God. And also, Holy Spirit cannot lead you to prophesy and that thing uh, end up be a lie. Holy Spirit cannot tell you to prophesy liars. Holy Spirit cannot do that. It is your own passion. It is your own desire to be in the ministry which makes you to do that. Those are just wanted, uh, what I just wanted to say in this video. Please take heart. Don't forget to like this video. Share it with other people. Let me see you on the next video. Shalom.